Control dramas are, accept, are perpetuated by an un unwillingness to accept, compromise, and let go, coupled with an in inability to heal and balance your own issues of, issues of guilt, fear, hate, blame, and judgment. Okay, so in other words, it's, if you're not able to let go and you're not able to maintain an understanding, uh, then you are going to be perpetually caught in control dramas. Emotions attached to words and actions of others. We talked about that. Anytime you have an emotional attachment to something that somebody's trying to attack you on or anything, obviously it shows an area inside yourself that has to be uh, looked at for healing, but that will get you caught in a control drama. Defensiveness, no, reactive, uh, need to be uh, proved right and prove another person wrong. I mean, this is probably the most common way that people get caught in control dramas. Somebody says, oh, I'm right, this is why, and, and somebody has to go, no, you're not right because this is why. I mean, if you have a self-confidence in who you are and what you believe in, what do you care what that other person thinks? I mean, sure, they may be involved in a business relationship, you may be involved in a personal relationship, but you still uh, shouldn't go to their level. If, you, if they're going to demanifest, you've got to let them demanifest. And that's where the fear factor comes in, because as you're moving this direction, you're using this release, and sometimes that means things have to be taken out of your life, and people aren't often comfortable with that. They might, you might have to get a different job. If your job is all of a sudden, you find out your job's all over here, and you're trying to go this way, guess what? You may have to get a different job sometime. If you find the person you're in a relationship is over here all the time, and you're going this way, you may have to choose. Okay, and again, this is a choice. You, everybody has a choice to move this way as rapidly as they want based on how much of this life they can let go of. And that is the biggest challenge to this growth. It's not the tools. It's not understanding how to use them. It's actually making the transition. And again, we all know that making this transition somewhere in here, it could get a little more confusing until you master these techniques. If you have to say anything to break a control drama, I've, I, you know, I thought about this a lot. <laughs> and I may have even used this statement on my own, I don't remember. Um, if you had to say something to break a control drama, you know, you just couldn't find a way to get out of it, you couldn't find a way to break it. Uh, the only words that I've ever come up with is, I hear and understand you. Okay, now you can all imagine somebody saying, don't patronize me, right? They're going to attack you. They're going to say, you know, what are you... What was that? <laughs> you know, what you, you can't just say that. You know, they're not going to like that because you've diffused the situation in a way that is confusing to them. I hear and understand you is respectful. It honors the fact that you're in a conversation with them. It doesn't mean you agree with them. Okay, and that's not acceptable to most people that use control dramas. They have to be right. They have to win. They can't leave on a note like that. So that is one way, and, and you'll find out that you know, somebody might raise the control drama when you do that. You know, they're not going to accept that as an answer. You do not need to learn how to control yourself or your experiences. Just learn how to accept responsibility for yourself and your experiences and learn how to manage your energy. What you attempt to control will always end up controlling your time and energy. This is a paradox. How many parents do you know that try to control their children, and ultimately you look at their life and you're like, your child controls you. Okay, so what you try to control ends up controlling you. That includes money, relationships, everything. Again, if you want to move out and into a more positive life and positive manifestation, you've got to understand how you're interacting with everything in your life. If you have fear of it, you're going to try to control it. Okay, if you have anxiety over it, you're going to try to control it. Anxiety is not centered. If you release something, think about this. What you put out comes back to you tenfold. So if you're putting out release, what are you going to get back? You're going to get people releasing with you and giving you release, giving you more freedom. Okay, but again, it all talks about maintaining this state and not going back and forth. That's the most important thing. Attempts to control include overprotecting Forcing knowledge, opinions, and will, and even the intent, if, even if the intent is to benefit the recipient. Yeah, overprotecting, that one I had to get over myself. I mean, how many times have you tried to prevent somebody from having a, a, a problem in their life? You're saying, oh, I see what's going on. You know, you really should do this. Okay. 
And anytime you're trying to change somebody, tell them what to do. Not change, positive, supportive wise. But if you're trying to tell them what to do to save themselves, you're trying to control them. Now that, it, that, doesn't, that means you don't really understand the concept of destiny, um, that their life is their own, they're responsible for their own energy, they're, everybody's going through the growth. Everybody on the planet is going through growth on this planet. They're all going from here to here. It all depends on what, what path they're taking. So the real question is, how can you help them in a positive, supportive way, which is not controlling? All right, and that usually means not necessarily telling them exactly what they should be doing, but giving them all options and helping them understand what those options, what the consequences of those options are. And you know very well that that's not usually what people do in a supportive situation. And it helps them grow in wisdom. So that's the best support you could be is help people understand to a greater level. Forcing knowledge again, I, I've been there where I've tried to teach people that didn't want to be taught before I learned that you don't do that. Okay, yeah, you know, it doesn't work. It just, just like, not just wasting my time, but uh, I had to learn the lessons not to do that. I had to learn those lessons. Why do people use control dramas? Basically because they don't have an awareness and understanding. They don't know about control dramas. They don't understand why they use them. Uh, they don't understand that it pulls them negative. I mean, all these factors. So they don't know the importance is the why. Uh, don't know they're in a control dramas. Don't have the tools. Don't have the patience to go through the transformation, which we've talked about. This requires some patience here. And uh, don't have the trust in life without control dramas. They haven't learned to trust this path, which is another challenge and don't want to apply themselves. They're not trying to change. Uh, they may think they want to change, but maybe they're not uh, really ready. And those are the situ situations. Okay, control drama conclusions. And this is one of, I don't know if anybody else ever said this in, in history, but I said it. it. Takes greater wisdom not to respond than to form the perfect response. Okay, wisdom comes from what? Understanding, okay. So if you understand, what you know, what I'm telling you today, then you would see that you shouldn't respond. It doesn't, doesn't get you where you want to go. So you're talking about a new form of communication, right? Because you see how many people are using control dramas now. Uh, it's rampant. <laughs> and, and that's an understatement, maybe. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about virtually every conversation between virtually, I mean, I'm not, not everybody. I'm not trying to be so blatant that nobody's got this figured out. But you know what I'm talking about. There's many, most of the people are using these on various conversations all day long. Okay, so we're talking about having calm, supportive, understanding, mutually participative, and beneficial communications. All right, so uh, obviously um, you have to break your habits. And by doing so, you will help the other people stop playing their games because they will see that it doesn't work and they're going to change just gradually, naturally. And that's the beauty of this. All you have to do is be yourself and your under maintain your understanding and everything around you changes. I can't tell you how empowering this is when you start seeing the, the cause and effect. I mean, you, you have people that you've known your whole life and you say, you know, God, these people use control dramas. You break their control dramas a couple times and all of a sudden they quit using them and you're like, whoa. That's cool. You're like, okay, so now you've helped just help them move more positive. How cool is that? That's the ripple effect. And then you see, you know, that they're, you know, they may still be using control drums with everybody else in their life, but they're not using them with you anymore. And then, you know, they again, they may just demanifest over time. Because there may you may have transcended your your need to have them in your life. And need meaning for the lesson. Okay, everything is about learning. Every minute of every day is about learning the lesson. And these are, these are the things we have opportunities to learn from.